By writing, we show them how to write and about spelling and all of those things because um, even though they were supposed to be in fourth grade, their skills were of like a child who is first grade. Yeah, a first grade or something like that. It was very intense. We help them by solving math problems. We we help them. We we taught them a multiplication table. Like coloring, they had never seen, that was very sad also because they had never seen the color by numbers or those things like those. So we taught them those things so they could learn how to do the letters. Right. By playing, <laughs> like we had um, tutorings and in the middle we had like a recess pause and then we played with the children too. Almost a lot. <laughs> by caring. They had never had teachers who cared about them and really gave them the time they needed. So that was something that, that's why they were so grateful with us at the end, because they really improved and they loved us. They would come and hug us all the time. And so that was very satisfying. <laughs> so uh, this graph shows our results of our project. Um, at the beginning of the project of the year, we did a diagnostic, diagnostic test to all of the students. Uh, we asked our fourth grade teacher from our school to help us uh, see what they should know by then, by that age. Like things like, for example, um, subject uh, identifying subject and predicate, the alphabet, um, vocals, some the main words in it. Like we would put them uh, write <coughs> down it. dog in Spanish, like the word perro. No, we would write. <laughs> they they have had to write to it in, it in English. English, and we saw the results. See, the, the results of the first diagnostic test are in blue. So as you can see, they're real low. They were, the exam was over 33. And like, they didn't know, like they couldn't write down the, the alphabet. Yeah, so, so it was really concerning. When we, and had, when we were grading the test, it was like, write the entire alphabet and the kids would write A, C, and they would write the, the letters in disorder. And they were supposed to be in fourth grade. In fourth grade. <laughs> so, at, and at the end of the year, we did the same, exactly the same exam. And we can see how the results increased. There are the bars in red. So this shows us that our project actually worked and that we indeed helped the kids improve academically. And this is only a sample of kids. We didn't put all of the results in the graph. So I don't know if you could play the, the voice. So here, um, this was a girl who was one of our students. And as you can see, um, this was one of the girls who didn't know the alphabet at the beginning. And as you can see, we think she had dyslexia because she confuses the letters. But here, if you can play the video, we can see that she masked she she managed to do it. No, but well it doesn't work. But she's able to say the entire <laughs> graduation we threw them a graduation party at the end of the year we gave them diplomas and we did it like the ceremony with the, with the parents so the parents came we had like food and it was like some of the parents told us that their kids had never received any diplomas or any like recognition so they were extremely happy it was told us it said that they had passed the tutoring course and passed it still and this is, these are all of our kids. So this is a, these are the students that we help, and they are the cheaters from our school. And because our success has been so remarkable, we have decided to take our project one step, one step further. further. <laughs> so the future plan we created after evaluating all of the limitations that we had to face we decided to implement the same tutoring system on an afternoon daycare instead of a school. Because as I mentioned before, sometimes we were an inconvenience to the school because the person wouldn't even open the door or things like those. So we decided to implement it on an afternoon daycare, daycare center and we're, where the kids would be there and we would just go and help them and they wouldn't have to be, like their parents wouldn't have to take them, they were already there. So that would be much helpful. And then 
Um, we would continue to prepare 11th grade volunteers with professional help from our teachers because we saw that that was something that really helped our project since these teachers showed them specific things they had to do to reach the kids and help them understand in the most optimal way. And the third thing we decided to change was that we're going to pair up tutors with specific elementary students because sometimes, as you could, as you could see on the picture of all of our kids, um, there were more students than tutors. So many tutors had two students and their academic level sometimes was higher than the other. So we would focus on the one who needed more help, but leave the other one aside until the one who needed more help was able to understand. So that was not <coughs> for the kid who was really good since he was left aside. So we decided to do this so that there would be personalized learning instead of two groups. Another idea we had was to include conferences between the students and the, their parents. So in this conference, we would have speech about um, environment, environment and health. Um, this idea is to, besides the giving them knowledge about academic and school subjects, we also give speech explaining them to them about environment, how to recycle, how to treat the environment, and like not throw up trash, because that was also something we had to face when we got to the school. Even though they had trash cans, they just simply didn't throw the, tra the trash inside the trash can, so it was a complete mess. Yeah. So, And also we decided to do health, because we saw that the students didn't wash their hands at the bathroom, or didn't, br didn't brush their teeth. Didn't and bathe. So we, we wouldn't, we will want to explain to them how that is important so that to keep healthy and also the diet because they didn't eat healthy. So, so. And last, we would have donations from our school. Like we would make like contests with elementary school students to bring books to donate or at the end of the year, recollect all the things that are left, like the pencil lockers. cases and lockers to donate to the students so that they have more material yeah. to learn with. Okay. <laughs> and so we're done. Is there a presentation? No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now 